Hi, today I'd like to talk about the Pultec low end trick and the different plugins that are available to achieve that trick. Now, I'm not going to explain what the trick is exactly, as there are other videos that already do that, and I'll post two of them in the description. So, if you're not familiar with the Pultec EQ low end trick, I recommend that you uh, check out those videos. With that being said, the low end trick is most often used on kick drums. And to demonstrate that, I'll be using a custom drum rack, uh, which is called Big Mono, because it's created from the Addictive Drums Big Mono uh, drum samples, which is a Ludwig uh, drum set. And in case you're interested in creating this drum rack yourself, I do have a video up on my channel that explains how to create this uh, drum rack. I've created a very simple beat, kick, snare and hi-hat. So let's have a quick listen to that. Make sure everything is turned on. So this is the clean version, so with no EQing whatsoever. And then I made copies of that and added an EQ to the kick drum on each copy. So a different EQ on each copy. Uh, but each EQ does the same thing. It applies the pull tech EQ low end trick to the kick drum. And every one of them has the same setting applied which is boosting and attenuating the same amount and all of them are set to uh, 30 Hz. And the first one is the overtone PTC2A. Second one is the tube tech, the PE1C. Third one is the T-Rex EQP1A. Then this one is a bit special, it's the uh, Bootsy Nasty LF. Uh, this one is a free plugin. Downside is that it is really hard to find because it is uh, being replaced by this one, which is the uh, Bootsy Boot EQ MK2. So let's go ahead and listen to what they do exactly. I'll solo the kick in all the tracks and I'll play them back one after the other. Now, as you noticed, I didn't play back uh, the last two tracks because uh, this one has an Ableton Live EQ8 applied to it and is my attempt, with the emphasis on attempt, to uh, recreate the effect with just the Ableton Live EQ8 uh, audio effect. And the last one is, as I mentioned earlier, is the Boot EQ MK2 and according to Bucci, who is the developer of this uh, plugin, you, with these settings that I have here, you should be able to uh, achieve the Pultec low end trick effect, but uh, it's not really there because uh, he's using the uh, mid frequency and it doesn't go lower than 100 hertz. So no matter how hard you try, you'll not be able to achieve the same effect as uh, some of the other plugins and uh, even his older uh, nasty LF plugin. Uh, so my advice is if you can get your hands on the on this one, on the nasty LF, do so and uh, tuck it away somewhere safe because uh, it's really hard to find uh, as, a, as a download. Now just to make sure that I'm not being misunderstood, there's nothing wrong with the Boot EQ MK2. It's a great plugin, it just doesn't work for this particular low end trick. But since I have it all set up here, I'll let you listen to it. 
I'll do a comparison between the boot EQ and between the old one and the clean sound. We'll start with the, the clean sound. Now let's have a look at my attempt with the EQ8. What I did was enable two filters and the first one is set to 30 Hz. Second one is set a little bit higher, 45 Hz. First one is set to the default uh, bell filter. And then the second one is set to the high shelf filter. Then I'm boosting the gain of the first one and lowering the gain, so attenuating the second one, the second filter. And on top of that, I have increased the gain here by about 6.5 dB. Let's now listen to what that sounds like. I'll switch between the clean, the nasty LF, and live's EQ8 and I'll enable the master spectrum so and keep an eye on the low frequencies here to uh, see the difference between the three of them. So, starting with the clean sound. If you ask me, that wasn't too bad. Uh, so let's now go ahead and focus a bit on the uh, four plugins. I'll play them back again uh, using the master spectrum. And again, keep an eye on the low end and see what happens there. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to uh, hear much of a difference uh, in the video itself because of the video compression and uh, the lower sound quality but hopefully you can detect uh, some difference between uh, the four uh, plugins. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, overtone and take it from there. So master uh, spectrum. Yeah, let's go. I hope you were able to hear the difference in the video itself, but if not, hopefully the descriptions that I added uh, do help a bit. Now let's listen to them one more time, but this time with the whole uh, drum kit. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna enable the master spectrum, so, and I'll let you hear the different plugins one after the other. Um, this time I'll start with the, with the clean sound, just make sure that the drum kit itself is enabled, so here we go. So to round this up, the Overtone PTC-2A and the TubeTech PE-1C, they sound very similar. And the one from uh, T-Rex and the uh, Nasty LF, they both sound very similar as well. Uh, but 
both of them sound a bit different than the overtone and the tube tech one. And the one that I use the most is probably the Nasty LF from uh, Bootsy. But as I mentioned earlier, unfortunately, uh, he doesn't offer it as a download anymore from his website. But if you can get your hands on it, uh, you should certainly do so. So I hope you will enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching.